Hello. So I haven't done a video for a while. Um, I've had a lot going on in my life, but um, I have been out a few times recently and had a you know a couple of baths. So I thought I'd make a video and uh, show you a couple of a couple of my favourite lures. So one of um, one of the a lot of people's favourite lure is at the moment is um, the Savage Gear V2. Now this is a soft plastic lure, 23 grams. Um, it's got a paddle tail and a and a rattle in it as well. Although you'll see later on, well, I, I do some underwater footage. You can't really tell the rattle, but it is there. You can see it in the tail. So whether that makes a difference or not, I don't know. It probably makes a little bit more noise. Um, it's got the hook protruding from the top, and uh, which means that you don't get it snagged so much. It's still visible. It's still still clear of the body. Some of them got the hook hidden inside, so um, you, you you can get this snagged, but you know it's it's a relatively cheap lure it's only seven eight quid for a, a lure with a spare tail so you know that's it's not the end of the world if you if you lose it um, it's got a lead head it, it casts really well it sinks obviously and then you can control the action of the lure with your rod tip so it's a it's a really versatile lure and it, and it tends to catch if there's bass there I mean I know a lot of decent lures these days will catch if you find the fish but this one seems to come up trumps time and time again, so so that's why it's a favourite. Uh, it does have this sort of uh, you'll see in the underwater. It does have a sort of rolling action as well as a you know a, a swimming action. So, um, but no, it's a really good lure. But um, cheap, not the end of the world if you lose it. Unlike my next lure, which is the Megabass Zonk Gator Ride 120. Um, this is the high pitch version. Um, and it's I think the colours Silent Night or something like that. I might be wrong, but uh, but yeah. So this is a expensive lure. It's it's about uh, 27, 28 quid something like that. So you don't really want to lose this one. Uh, but it's a great lure. It's got lots of features. So let me just take you through them. So this it's a floating lure, and then when you reel in, it dives, um, and it will only dive to sort of between 15 and 30 centimeters below the surface. Um, below the surface and uh, it's got three treble hooks I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of people change their trebles for for singles and I'm, I've been thinking about doing it but I'm just a bit worried that it's going to change the action of the lure um, but yeah I, I'm certainly going to uh, crush the barbs down because it just makes a difference when you're trying to unhook the bass um, so yeah it's got a it's got a it's the high pitch version so you can see I don't know whether you can see that I'll show you a close-up in a second but it's got a sort of a it's got a more sharp edges. There's another version called the Yoro Yoro, I think it is, and and that's got a more of a rounded. And so this, because it's got the sharp edges, it means it rolls a lot sharper. Um, it's got the the tunnel on the and the and the top that creates a bit more water um, disturbance, and uh, it's got these ball bearings inside. It's a, it's a really good. It's only 18 grams this lure. But it casts it easily as well as the the V2. It's because it's got it's really aerodynamic. You can see it's really aerodynamic, and it's got. And when you cast this bib, is straight. When you when it lands and you, you swim uh, when it's swimming, when you're retrieving it, it actually uh, goes down and and um, makes the, the the lure dive. Um, but yeah, it's it's got these ball bearings inside. So you, you probably I don't think you can hear it, but it's got ball bearings inside. So. Um, so when you cast, they're at the end and it goes like a rocket and then when it lands, the, the ball bearings go to the front with the bib, force it down and so it, the, the, the ball bearings go to the front and then you have got this rattle and we shall notice, when I, I'll show you some underwater footage, you'll notice that it's, uh, it, it really is notable underwater. So, uh, so those are the two lures I'm using today and um, I'll give you a little bit of a close up of them and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so this is the lures up close. So the they come in a variety of colours. This the V two is a lemon back, and the like I said, the Zonk was a Silent Night. Um, the the V two is actually thirty three grams. Is the, the the head that's twenty three grams. Um, but yeah, you can see the on the Zonk the uh, you can see the vein on the, on the front there. It's um, yeah, it's it's more of a sort of a angular. Which um, which is uh, different to the other one. The other one's more rounded. The Yoro Yoro is more rounded. But uh, you can see there's the tunnel on the top, which creates a disturbance. Who knows what difference that makes? But it does seem to work overall that lure. So, so there you have it. Uh, those are the two lures. Let's uh, see them catch some fish. 
Right, so I just had a call from my brother actually and he said that he's down at Fishing Mark and um, there's fish jumping everywhere. So I haven't, I haven't been bass fishing properly for ages. I've only done a, a couple of chucks here and there and I really haven't done very well recently. So um, I couldn't uh, leave him down there and catch him on his own. So I'm gonna give it a go. So I'm just starting the long walk down there. It's just coming up to dusk, so should be a good time. All right, so I'm down here now with my brother who's uh, successfully caught nothing. He reckons he's hooked up to one, but uh, you know, it's very debatable. So uh, I'm gonna start off with a, a mega, mega bass zonk. Um, just, I'm not messing around tonight. Need to catch something. Oh, that wouldn't go very far. Does look good here though. Always looks good here though. I don't know how long we've got before we get cut off here. Watch out, the cormorant to your right, by the way. It was all right, but you can't tell it's quite flat, eh? You sure it's not just hitting the seaweed, Lee? Oh, there's got to be there's got to be schooly bass in here at least I and mean, i know it's not a huge tide at, again but uh come on just a little bass i'd cope with just a tiny schooly bass at the moment just to catch yeah, I saw the picture of it. Quite a good catch on the surface, though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the garfish love those uh, pachenkos, eh? Oh yeah, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make sure it's a uh, recording. Yeah. Hurrah! At last. Yeah, it's not nothing huge, but it doesn't feel tiny, tiny weeny. Well, it's, it feels all right. Yeah. It's a bass, all right. Oh no, it's it's only tiny. <laughs> shows, I haven't, shows I haven't caught a fish for a long time. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> oh, it's a shame it nailed that um, uh, that zonk. Ah, it's all right. I thought it was going to be injured. What oh, a tiny little bass! Look at that. <laughs> Right, let me get my pliers so I don't injure him. Or myself, which is highly possible. Oh, oh. Don't go away yet. Let me just give you a, a better view. They're always a harder to hold the tiny ones because they're, they're so spiny but um no it's a uh, that's the first bass i've caught in a little while like i say i haven't been fishing for for a very uh very much recently but um but look at that for a tiny little bass still a nice little bass I'll put him back quick okay so i've just got some footage of the lure underwater so this is the mega bass zonk gator ride um, and the water's really murky here, but you get a good idea. It's got a, sort of a rolling motion 
and uh, and a, a sort of a zigzag side to side sort of uh, motion at the same time. And I I like using this this lure in, when it comes near to darkness. I always find it works better in the darkness. Um, now I've kept the sound on for the next bit, and this is you can see this is actually excuse the dog noise in the background, but you can hear it's got a rattle in it. And I, I suppose this is why when there's poor visibility, um, it, it seems to do better. But you can um, you can really hear that rattle as it goes past. And you can tell actually of here you'll I'll have it coming towards us here. Listen to this. And you only see it right at the last minute, but you hear it a lot, you know, sooner than you see it. You're in? No way. Awesome. Oh, it's a bass, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thanks, Rich. It's all right. Bigger than the one I had the other day, I'll tell you. So about a pound. Pound and a bit. About one pound three, I reckon. I'd accept a one pound three bass at the moment. Better than my, my one the other day must have been about half a pound, I reckon, literally. <laughs> but you do understand if you catch some more, Richard, I'm going to get very grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I always like this mark, it always looks so good because you've got broken ground everywhere. It looks and with a tide. <laughs> it looks perfect. Yeah, that's a bunch now. Oh yeah, yes. Oh, well done. oh is it have I still got it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Bloody hell. I really nailed it then. Oh, what a beauty of a bite. At last. Well, well it's not going uh, to be a monster, Rich. It's on the surface over there, look. Yeah, it properly nailed that lure. Oh, seen it yet? Oh, it looks all right. Nice little bass. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Can't grumble. It's all right. All right. right. I think I'm going to... He's not going to be anywhere near what I need him to be, but it's the biggest bass I've caught in a little while. I think I have to use this thing because it's, it's so unstable up here. Alright. 48. It's alright. I reckon it's a couple of pounds at least. It's a nice little bass. Mine was one three, that's gotta be two pounds. Yeah. 
a nice little bass. Quite happy with that. And he put up a, a decent fight. Uh. All right, he's been out of the water way too long already. But uh, oh, just nice to see one. Proper fighting fish, that. Proper predator. <laughs> Right, let me go. And away he goes. Okay, again, I just thought I'd show you the lure, what it looks like underwater in slow motion. Again, it's really murky, this, um, but not dissimilar to the conditions I caught the fish in. Um, but you can see here, it's, uh, you know, it's in slow motion up close it it you know you can tell it's a lure but um it's you can see it's got a really real sort of uh, real life action to it and um so i'll show you this this bit first of all in slow motion and then um i'll show you it speeded up afterwards because then you can you just imagine if you're a bass sitting there watching this go past you don't have a chance to think about it you're just gonna dart after it so you can see it, it, as it comes backwards and forwards here. I was, you can see I was going up and down there, and uh, yeah, it it um it really is an effective lure. This, I mean, if I, I think um if and if all else fails, I always put a V two on because they 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 really are a a fantastic lure, especially when the sand eels are about because uh, obviously the bass are actually looking for that type of fish. But um yeah, it's really realistic. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. The, you know, the fish weren't massive, but um, I hope it gave you a bit of information about the lures as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a few more videos um, soon. I'll, I'll be doing some basket ones as well for those of you who like that type of thing. Um, but yeah, so um, if you like the video, please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click that bell so you get the notifications when my uh, new videos come out.